the next topic I'm going to be speaking on, it's going to be about Colin Kaepernick trying to get on the Jets. So J. Cole, he passed on a letter that was from Colin Kaepernick to the Jets offices. And basically, he wanted to get on the practice squad. And in my opinion, this dude, Colin Kaepernick, is a very interesting person. I mean, he's just off. First of all, he has a Huey P. Newton fro. Also trying to look like Huey from the from the Boondocks. And he hasn't done anything. Hasn't changed the law. We have never seen this dude, Colin Kaepernick, give a speech at a protest. None of that. All he does is just basically give little thoughts here and there on Twitter all of these years. But yet at the same time, he deserves a spot. For what reason? Explain it to me. Especially since he sued the NFL after hurting their bottom line. Okay? It's just the facts. He gets his money. Then the next thing you know, he makes a Netflix documentary referring the NFL combine to slavery. Now he wants to get back in the NFL. Make that make sense. Plus, the NFL has been a lot better since he's been out. It's just the facts. All he was was just drama. Drama and also trying to make the NFL more feminine. That's all it was about. And he did succeed in some aspects of doing that. So, to me, I don't think that Colin Kaepernick should be in the NFL. Why is he going back to a company, right, in the NFL that he claims is so racist? And you had just won the grievance just for you to talk trash about them in a documentary and then turn around and then want to come back to the NFL? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Because he's not making sense in his own mind. That's the problem. Colin Kaepernick is all over the place. You don't even know what this dude even believes. At all. Colin Kaepernick is a fraud and always was. I mean, just think about it. The reason why that he wasn't playing on the 49ers was because he got outplayed by Blaine Gabbert. I mean, he kneeled, right, to bring awareness to, quote, unquote, Black people getting shot by the cops, right? When at the end of the day, we didn't need him to bring awareness. That stuff is on a camera phone. Okay? He didn't help anything. All right? Plus, then on top of that, he was offered a chance on the Ravens, but his girlfriend messed that up. He was offered a chance on the Broncos, right? He messed that up as well. Then on top of that, all 30 teams, they all went over to this one specific location. He turned around and then he changed the location. Talking about, we've been ready, we're going to stay ready. What kind of sense does that make? 
But yet, Colin Kaepernick, he was able to make money through Nike the whole time. I mean, it's funny how many political activists are on Nike as we speak. <laughs> you got LeBron James, the king of them. You got Serena Williams, you, you got Serena Williams, the queen of them. And then you got Colin Kaepernick, the princess. <laughs> Knowing he didn't change a single law there. All right. He didn't do anything. He fooled everybody but me and quite a few other people who were using their brain. But now he wants to get back in the NFL. Yeah, okay. I would not watch him. Let's hope the Jets don't do that. And besides, if he were to get on the Jets, the only thing that's going to be made is a spectacle out of it. Okay? That's unnecessary drama if the league were to bring him back. Plus, the NFL, they would lose a lot of viewers after that. As I said, he hurt the NFL's bottom line. And the bottom line was the money. Okay? So that's my perspective on Colin Kaepernick trying to come into the NFL. He's confused. All right? We don't even know what he even stood for. At least with the guy who was on the Eagles, he actually did make some laws change in Philadelphia. So when it comes to Colin, just get off his bandwagon if you're still on it. Open up your mind and be clear So that's my perspective on this. Have a good one.